Now, what I've shown you is not the only way in which you can import data from a spreadsheet. So just a reminder, we've, we've gone to this function here, uh, clicked on it, and imported the data. There is another way you can do this, and you don't have to use a CSV file. I want to show it to you because it is slightly different, and uh, I want you to be aware of those differences. So what we can do is go to File, Import Spreadsheet, uh, and this time, I'm going to just gonna open up a spreadsheet. Okay, so you what you get now is the option of choosing the sheet that you want. So let's say I'm going to choose the um, uh, the nodes. What we see now is um, some warnings which we didn't get before. Uh, when you were using the CSV files, it knew whether it was um, a node or a an edge because of the label that you had here, ID um, or source and target. Okay, just let me um, uh, go into PowerPoint uh, and show this to you. Okay, so this was the, um, uh, the way that we imported spreadsheets, first of all, clicking on uh, this icon here, and we got um, this screen or this drop-down pop-up. Uh, but when we do File, Import Spreadsheets, and we select Node, there is a slight difference in the output. So what it's saying is that um, you need to choose whether it's um, a, an edge or a table to ensure that you don't get this warning sign. Uh, out. So if I go back to here. So what we need, what what has to happen now is that you have to be clear that what you're importing is uh, a node. So we select node. You'll notice on the list as agency list and a matrix. I'm not going to go through those at this moment in time. We're just going to focus on nodes and uh, edges. Um, and then essentially everything else is uh, the same. You get the same. Um, overview of what's being imported uh, and then we can we're going to import it into a new worksheet because we're importing data um, so we've got workspace 10 there now let's um, do the same thing for an edge or file import spreadsheet uh, we go to our Excel uh, and this time it is the edge undirected that I want so this is edge table so we don't get the um, uh, the, the warning sign here however if I, if I put uh, nodes you don't get a warning sign either uh, th this will uh, what this will do is throw this all up as a um, uh, a node table so just be careful of that so I'm going to put that back to edges table you get your same uh, output there, and we're going to append it to um, worksheet 10. So that's um, fairly similar to what we've seen nodes and edges. And then I can do the same by just adding in Kendra if I want to uh, here. So that's a, a top tip that you need to be aware of. Uh, um, and make sure that uh, you uh, upload the correct configuration, whether it's a node or uh, an edge. Now, I want to show you some other um, um, obstacles that you might come across. So let's say we or you uh, upload data without uh, any labels. So if, if I go, uh, again, File, Import, uh, spreadsheet. I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose sheet one. Okay. Um, again, I get the same warning message, but you'll notice at the top I haven't got the labels. I haven't got my ID or my label or another attribute label here. So if I go to node uh, and go next, you get the same. Uh, requirements uh, being presented and I'm going to open it into a new spreadsheet okay it's taken the first item as a, a particular label here which is uh, wrong and now it gets even more confusing if I were to import the same 
file as a CSV. Okay, so if I go to this version, import spreadsheet here, and um, uh, import it as a, I'm going to go into downloads as a CSV. And I'm going to import it into a new workspace. What has happened is that um, in this example here, because I didn't have any labels, it's it's created the, uh, the the labels at the top, but it has taken the matrix and added them all the way down. So initially, I should have only had if I go back to the the spreadsheet, I should have only had fifteen um, nodes. What we've got here is more because it's taken that as node one, node two, node three, node four, node five, node six, etc. And it's put it all down. So I've got Frida, female, US, Mike, uh, male, U UK, Daniel, Canada, etc. So th these are uh, issues that um, could present themselves if you do not follow the correct procedures in uploading your uh, data. Uh, but just be aware of them. Um, all you have to do is uh, delete it and start again. Uh, but I, I have had students in the past who've um, Show me their output like this and said, um, uh, what's gone wrong? And the reason is that they've not had the, the labels at the top or they either use uh, this import spreadsheet as opposed to this or that as opposed to this. So my advice is always have the labels at the top, put it into CSV and import it from uh, this facility here. OK. Uh, I'm going to delete that now and we're going to have a look at uh, the implications of um, changing undirected into directed. I'm just going to delete these as well. So this is delete this one as well. This is my original uh, data. I've got the nodes and I've got the edges, which are all uh, undirected. And um, what we have seen, if I go back to the spreadsheet in undirected mode, I've got Frida um, sending to Warren and Warren sending to Frida, which is essentially the same edge. What's happened in our um, merge uh, strategy that we've we've told to summit what you will see on this side here is the weighting and what's happened is that each edge each first unique edge is given a value one and where there's a duplication it adds it together so one and two you won't see a two and one because it's added it here one and three two but you won't see a three and one because it's it's added it here uh, likewise two and three you don't see a three and two because it's added it here that's the the strategy that's taken place and this is where the the, the weighting um, uh, occurs okay now if um, we were to change this to directed um, it becomes slightly different. So let's look at the, this option here. We're going to import, uh, go back to we're going to import my nodes. We're going to create a new uh, workspace. nodes. Uh, I'm just going to add in Kendra. Now I'm going to import the um, directed edge.
So you get the same requirements. I'm going to use sum again. It's picked out that it's directed because actually in the CSV file it actually um, states it's directed, so it's picked that out automatically. I'm going to append that to my sheet. Now, what, what we can now see is the difference between um, a directed and an undirected um, edge table. So with the uh, directed table, it does not sum the, the source of targets which are duplicates. So you can see 1 to 2 and 2 to 1, which we saw previously, was made into 2. These are kept discrete. Okay, if I go back to the undirected, you see 1 to 2 uh, was weighted as 2. It summed it, and there's no 2 to 1 here. Um, and that's the difference between directed and undirected. What I do have is a 2 within here. You can see um, this line, uh, Soraya to, to Mike. And that's because if I go back to my uh, table, um, directed here, if we look at Soraya to Mike, I've actually got two occasions when they have communicated. So in this instance, it may have been that Soraya may have sent two emails to Mike. So that's where the uh, information is summed. So that's quite important to, uh, to remember that that's where the, um, uh, the information is summed up.